Keffels. My prediction for Keffels was a comedic one. I said that Keffels will detrans. Now, obviously, Keffels <clears throat> still claims to his facade, but let's consider this uh, critically, if we will, chat. Um, this is the gross, meaty flappers of Keffels. Uh, Keffels, somebody pointed this out in a comment on the Rumble the uh, vod that i that i left up and i didn't know this um but when he said it it reminded me of something and i realized he was right this is an old picture of kathals the gross meaty flappers that you see are actually silicon augmented flappers um and he had those removed because they were debil causing him debilitating pain so now he has like deflated meaty flappers, but he still uses this uh, triple tit bust picture that he has of himself as his stream thumbnails. So in a way, Keffels has detrans a little bit by removing the silicon implants. Now you might be thinking, Josh, obviously silicon implants does not make somebody a woman. Yes, that's true. But in a troon's brain, uh, a woman is a bimbo. And when they talk about becoming more of a woman, they talk about becoming a bimbo. And removing implants is actually de-bimbofication and therefore detransitioning in a way. Now, don't tell me that I'm coping or sneeding, okay, because I'm not. Uh, this is a, a fair and accurate um, uh, assessment of Keffel's situation. Um, as far as what he's done for this year nothing um he's tried to become a bread tuber uh he went out and he chimped out at hassan and then hassan replied for 40 minutes and of course keffels is relishing this attention uh this turkish half-breed mongoloid self self-declared mongoloid uh cousin of what's his face from the young turks chank chank yogurt uh huge huge w for queen kafals to win uh somebody's attention so uh i i predict that for the, this year and by the way it's really funny uh when keffels talks about people uh you see the the mentions for kiwi farms light up and it's almost all dismissive stuff like keffels was relevant only during kiwi farms and now he's completely irrelevant and I'd love for somebody to to point out when Keffels does a victory lap about the Kiwi Farms that number one, we're not down. Number two, everything that Keffels takes credit for is Liz Fung Jones's work. I don't know why people allow Keffels to take credit for for um, the drop Kiwi Farm stuff when, like, he didn't do it. Liz Fung Jones was the one who uh, arranged protests at Cloudflare, who had the tech connections to get people inside Cloudflare to, to force Matthew Prince to drop us. Uh, uh, Liz Fung Jones was the one that orchestrated the in Kiwi Farms stuff because once uh, Cloudflare dropped the Kiwi Farms, Keffels was done. He was exhausted, uh, mentally drained, doing drugs, trying to escape his relationship and move to Ireland uh, and lie about why he was leaving Canada um, and when it was it was a relationship and not the Kiwi Farms or whatever. But he took credit for everything that Liz Fong Jones did, and people just like allow Keffels to get away with that and lie. All, all Keffels did is raise money and then snort it. Liz Fong Jones completely self um self-funded uh his his kiwi farm stuff and still does and so it is weird uh i imagine that there's nowhere left to go because keffels isn't very interested interesting or intelligent or energetic or fun to listen to or funny uh just is like a me is a really mean-spirited person i get that vibe that they're just like angry and they want to make other people as angry as they are um so I, I imagine that their numbers will dwindle for the remainder of the next year Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.